Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Easy69. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got the Ritter versus the Waffen Trigger. Basically, both the same freaking tank. Literally, both are the same tank, but we're going to look at both tanks and we're going to decide which tank we actually prefer. So, they are, they're very the same. They're, they are the same tank. Obviously, one is the Clam Reward tank. One is the Tech Tree uh, version of the tank as well. Now, the best thing about both of them is they do have two different completely, uh, very uh, different guns. Uh, but you can play it with the same gun. But if you do play it with the same gun, one of the tank is much better than the other. So, at first, we're going to look at it from the, the way I play it. You know, obviously, the Ritter with the gun it's got, which you can't change, and the Waffle. Uh, or the Waffen Trigger with the tank that uh, with the gun that I play it, the big alpha. So looking at the st uh, DPM wise, of course the Ritter is, is way better DPM, like way way better, 3,500 DPM um, compared to 2,700, and also the penetration, the penetration 276 uh, versus 255. So if you finish it there, the Ritter is better all day long. Um, the Alpha, of course, the Alpha on the Waffle is 580, which ultimately is why the DPM and the penetration is less, uh, compared to 460 on the Ritter. Uh, rate of Fire, of course, the Rate of Fire is much better on the Ritter, uh, because obviously less reload time, which is only 7.75, compared to 12.63 on the Waffle. But again, you've got to remember we do have that 580 Alpha. So your caliber is a 128 caliber on the Ritter and 150 on the Waffle with this gun, um, which means obviously the shelf velocity for the Ritter is, is much better as well. Aim time is better, dispersion is better, um, and of course the gun depression is actually half less. So it's only five degrees on the Ritter, however it's 10 degrees on the waffle um speed of course is the same power to rate ratio very very similar and uh yeah let's have a look view range all the same weight hp all the same armor all the same so that is compared kept comparing the 128 to the 150 millimeter now looking at that i would go with the the ritter to be fair because of the dpm um your penetration the rate of fire, the shelf velocity is much better. But then you've got to remember that the waffle does have 128 millimeter as well. Um, but there is a difference. There is actually a big, big difference. The DPM. I mean, you're looking at 500 short on the waffle compared to the Ritter. Uh, the rate of fire is better for the Ritter. The reload is almost two seconds or a second and a half better for the Ritter. Um, obviously, the shelf velocity, the aim time is better for the Ritter. Um, the gun depression is the same. Everything else is pretty much very similar. So if you look at that, you would go with the Ritter all day long. Um, you know, you can yes, you can use the waffle. You can choose what gun you use the waffle, um, and that's what I do. You know, I would never play the waffle with the 128 millimeters. I might as well play the Ritter. I only play the waffle now with the 150 using that alpha. Uh, but a lot of people will prefer DPM over alpha. And if that is for you, then the Ritter is the tank for you. So we're going to get into just some games uh, using both tanks. So at first we're going to play the, the waffle. And of course we are using the 150 millimeters. Now the difference between both tanks um, of course, when you if you do own both tanks, you'd be stupid to play this tank with the 128 millimeters, what, because you might as well go play the Ritter. You've got 500 DPM better. Um, all the other stats are pretty much better. There's no point playing this tank with the 128 millimeters. The only point there is to play this tank if you own the Ritter is with, of course, the 150 millimeters. Uh, but again. You know, you might not like Alpha. If you don't like Alpha then you, and you prefer DPM, just go play the Ritter because the Ritter is much, much better. However, I still enjoy the Alpha. Even though you're losing, what, seven, almost 800 DPM, which is a lot, um, I still like that Alpha. Especially if you can get the HE off as well, coming up against sort of tanks with uh, no armor, then this, this still can still be a fun tank to play. Like, and if you don't own the Ritter, it's not the end of the world because you still have uh, a waffle, you know. So, 
I do own both. I do own both, of course. Uh, and I've got to be honest, I don't really play this tank as much. Like, I, I would honestly just prefer playing the Ritter. Even though, it, yes, it does have lower alpha. But I would still prefer to play uh, the Ritter over this tank. Um, this tank, you know, it's because of the reload, there's a lot more waiting around. Uh, there's a lot more being patient. Uh, because you don't want to miss like you don't you've got a longer reload you've got high alpha you don't want to be missing your shot uh where with the ritter you could just take your shot go back take it again <laughs> you know there's a lot less uh, exposing your tank like here we're going to get the shot off on the t30 we're going to back up yeah we're going to get shot a few times and then we're just waiting around for a lot longer i mean if we was using the ritter we would have already reloaded by now we could already be taking damage and of course we do have that much better dpm but i still like the alpha honestly i do still like the alpha um, but I think the Ritter is definitely more fun to play. I love the speed. Of course, if you would have watched my video not long ago, the Grill is my one of my most played uh, tanks in the game. And uh, yeah, I don't have as many battles in, in the Waffle. But, uh, you know, the Grill's tier 10. I do absolutely love it. I probably do prefer the Grill now over the, the Waffle. And mainly, that probably has something to do with the Ritter. However, I probably prefer that I do prefer the Ritter over the Grill. And the Ritter is a tank that I do play quite often. So, uh, only because I want the Mastery Badge. You know, I haven't had the Mastery Badge in the Ritter yet. Um, and yeah, I do kind of play it hoping to get the mastery badge, but they're not easy tanks to master like any of them the grill the Borzik the Ritter They're very difficult tanks because of course you need to play at the back of the map um, Because you've got no armor, but you also need to do some spotting you also need to get some supremacy points You need to get some damage. You're not really gonna get any of that apart from the damage if you are sat at the back of the map. So very difficult tanks to play. You need to kind of be aggressive. And hope that the team are, are noobs. And you can just absolutely farm. Um, so yeah I mean that is the, the waffle for you. Still a great tank by all means. Like it's still one of the best. Uh, when it comes to tier 9s. But uh, I definitely prefer the Ritter. So let's just get into a Ritter game. So as I said the biggest downfall with this tank is. It only has that 5 degrees of gun depression uh, other than the 10. Now, of course, you don't get that gun depression when you are facing forward anyway. So you do have to kind of uh, go up a ridge line at an angle. Uh, or even the best thing to do is reverse, at, uh, um, reverse on a ridge. That's the best thing to do. Don't come up like I've just done there. Always try, if you are on a ridge, try to reverse. Because that way you get your gun depression and you can actually get out the way a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, trying to get on a ridge. Um, I mean, look at that shot there. Absolutely amazing. I love the tank. I'm glad Wargaming uh, introduced this into the game. I think it's fantastic. One of the best tier nines and definitely better than the waffle that is already uh, that already exists. Um, it's more the DPM. I mean, the DPM is crazy. Like absolutely 3,500. It, it really is good. Good DPM. Again, you have the speed to go with it. Um, it, it looks great. I think the tank absolutely looks fantastic. Um, and I'm pleased. I'm pleased I managed to get it. It was quite easy to get. So, you know, it wasn't a difficult tank to get at all. And a lot of people should actually have the tank. Got lucky there. Thank you for my Leopard PTA. But I wasn't worried because I'd be able to take that guy out. And again, that's another thing with this tank, with the DPM it's got. I know it doesn't have any armor and you're not going to bounce anything. But if you at the end of a game, like if you're at the end of a battle and you're full hit points, you don't mind rushing in. Yeah, they're going to do damage. If they use HE, they're going to do damage. Uh, but, you know, you've got most likely better DPM than they've got. You've got great accuracy. I mean, just look at that shot there. Pinpoint accuracy on this tank. Absolutely fantastic. Are we going to do it again? Of course we are. And you can do that every single time. Absolutely love the tank. I hope many of you uh, did manage to get this tank. There's not much uh, option uh, to be able to get the tank. There's, you know, it's very difficult to be able to get this tank because it was the clan reward tank. Uh, it's very unlikely it's going to come in the store. Of course, you can get it at the moment um, if you if you don't want the uh, the bat chat in the clan event. But uh, yeah, I would if you don't own it and you do have enough, I would definitely prefer this 
over the bat chat. So if you are thinking about what three uh, uh, what three tanks to get, I, if you haven't got this, go for this. Honestly, it is amazing. Let me know your opinion. What do you prefer, the the Ritter or the Waffle? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meezy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.